They call it the flower of the gods. This plant that produces bright white flowers with a sweet fragrance is definitely one that you would love to grow in your garden. Let's look at growing jasmine. So in today's episode we will look at the planting technique. We will look at how to care for your jasmine plant. We will look at the flowers that we harvest. We will look at some pruning and maintenance tips and finally we look at how to repot your jasmine plants. Let's start with the planting technique. It's very easy to plant new jasmine plants. If you already have a healthy fully grown jasmine plant, just chop off some thick stems from the plant like you see here and make sure that there are not too many leaves on the stem. A few leaves are okay. Now what you want to do is take the stem and we will pot this in a smaller pot or a container and once it's established you can repot it into a larger container. So it's just very easy you just stick it into the pot and this will grow very soon into a new jasmine plant. Like you see here we have propagated this from a single stem and it's grown pretty well. Now some people like using rooting hormones when planting stems but I generally don't use it because although it's useful commercially for the average home user it doesn't really make a difference. A few plants will still grow. And now let's look at some care for your jasmine plants. Jasmine plants are best grown in either partial shade or in full sun. They can tolerate most types of climates but they do not like a freeze. They are more like tropical or subtropical plants. Now as far as fertilizer goes, you can fertilize your jasmine plant with an all-purpose fertilizer when you see new growth in the spring season. And as the season progresses, the jasmine plant will be in full bloom during the summer season. And at this stage, you want to add a flowering fertilizer, a fertilizer that is meant for flowering plants. And plants in containers do need nutrients. So make sure you're fertilizing your jasmine plants at least twice during a year for good growth and great looking flowers. And a jasmine plant has a vining kind of a behavior when it grows. So you can see that the plant will develop a lot of long vines. And you can train this plant using a trellis or anything that you want. And it will follow that path and grow in that direction. So it's a great plant that can be molded according to the way you need it. Now let's look at the harvest of the flowers. This is a flowering plant and the part that is the most fragrant and the most beautiful are the flowers. And in tropical and subtropical weather, these plants will be in full bloom during the summer season. Now this is the most common variety of jasmine you're seeing here, which is the Arabian jasmine. It's very close to the Indian jasmine, also known as these names as you see here on the screen. And they are absolutely beautiful and they are very fragrant. They grow very easily in zones 9 and 10 here in California. Very easy to grow and they produce abundantly. They produce a lot of flowers and it's a great addition to your home garden. Now you're looking at some more harvest here. The flowers are really beautiful. And on an average, a plant will produce hundreds of flowers. You can grow them very easily in containers. And you can even grow them indoors if you're providing adequate sunlight, like near a windowsill or some artificial light. The only thing that you need to worry about as far as insects and diseases go are either caterpillars that chew on the leaves or aphids that you see here that have caused some damage to the leaves, causing it to curl. So there are a lot of these insects that can attack the jasmine plant but most commonly it's like white flies, aphids or caterpillars and to control them you can use neem oil or just a soap spray, soapy spray that works great to control these insects. Since the jasmine plant is naturally a vining plant you do need to prune it as it grows larger. Now how much do you need to prune it really depends on what your goals are. I usually prune the plant to keep the growth behavior of the jasmine plant to a bush sized plant so that it grows like a bush and it doesn't really 
overtake the other plants and just grow wild. But you can also train your jasmine vines to grow on a trellis and that way it will take the shape of the trellis and then grow in that direction. But most of you would be very happy with the plant just appearing as a bush. It still produces a lot of flowers and you can create some very interesting shapes for the plant and it will grow in a bushy fashion that will be easy to maintain. And once you prune the plant, you can see that it looks a lot better. And I usually prune the plant once a year during the winter season when the plant is dormant. Wait for your plants to slow down a little bit, get dormant during the cold season. And you can see here I've protected the plant a little bit by adding some compost, which also acts as a mulch. And it prevents the surface of the plant from getting frozen. It doesn't usually get very cold here in Southern California, but when it does, this mulch should protect the plant very well. And now let's move on to repotting the plant. Now, just like any other potted plant, the jasmine plant needs to be repotted every two years or so. It gets severely root bound when it's planted in containers. And here you can see an example of how root bound this plant is. Now, initially you will find that it's really tough to separate out the soil from the roots in order to prepare it for transplanting. But what I usually do is I try to shake off most of the dirt that I can using my hands and then take a cultivator. Some people even like to chop off the roots and prepare space for the plant to grow in the new container. But I usually just use a cultivator or I use some kind of a tool that will help me reduce the size of the roots and then the plant becomes ready to be planted in a new container. I also like to wash the roots before I plant it so it gets rid of all the dirt around the roots, create some more space. And the potting mix that I'm using here is the 511 mix, basically a mix of wood chips, peat moss, perlite and I will add some slow release fertilizer to this plant once it's planted and established. Now once the plant is ready to go it will start producing new growth in a very short time. You can see here it has already started producing some new growth. And that's all that you really need to know about repotting your jasmine plant. As a rule of thumb you should just replant it every one to two years. So there we have it folks, that was our episode on growing the jasmine plant and also caring for your jasmine plant. If you are growing jasmine in your garden, do let me know which varieties you are growing. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.